Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel BBH Creates. My name is Brittany and today is Vlogmas Day 7, I think. The days are starting to run together, my friends. <laughs> um, I'm a little late recording this today. I had a lot of stuff to do this morning. I had to go out to the grocery store, to the bank. Um, got laundry going, I just put some beef stew on and then I mixed up our Buckeyes for today. So this mix, don't worry, I have wax paper down on my um, creating board. So what's in this mix? This is for Buckeye candies and I make these every Christmas. Um, our neighbors are graduates from the Ohio State University, not to be confused with Ohio University. They're two completely different universities. Um, <laughs> Uh, the Ohio State University, their mascot is Brutus the Buckeye, and Ohio University's mascot is the Bobcat. So, I am a graduate of Ohio University. They are graduates of the Ohio State University. So, <laughs> some people get really upset about that if you confuse them. But, um, they don't. They're very, very sweet, kind neighbors. So I make these for them every Christmas, Buckeye Candies. And what is in this, and my hands are red because I've been washing them um, like nonstop this morning because I'm cooking a lot. But what is in this mixture is um, a half a stick of butter and then a half a cup of powdered sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla then um, a little sprinkle of salt. That's optional. I don't always do that. And then about a cup of creamy peanut butter. And obviously if you're allergic to nuts, I would not suggest you making these. But um, I get all of my ingredients from the grocery store Aldi. And they their ingredients there... They work really well, I think. The flavor comes out really nice. I think that their creamy peanut butter, I think it's Baker's Choice, um, is made with like roasted peanuts. So it has a really nutty flavor. But what I'm doing here is I'm just rolling it into little balls. And those are going to be our Buckeyes. And then for the chocolate that we're going to dip these into, I use semi-sweet chocolate chip morsels. And um, I haven't noticed any one brand being better than another. It just depends on like what flavor of chocolate you prefer. And um, you're gonna wanna roll these to about the size of a quarter, maybe a little bit smaller, your preference. And um, because I am nursing an injury right now with my elbow, I used my KitchenAid hand mixer to mix those. You can use a stand mixer also. I would just recommend that when you get to a more thicker consistency, as you incorporate the um, powdered sugar with the peanut butter and the vanilla, um, it's going to get really thick and that could wear the motor of your hand mixer or stand mixer. So you're going to want to make sure you're nearby as it's mixing so that you can listen if your um, mixer motor starts to like make a, a sound like it's really working hard and then you're going to want to switch it off and finish by hand. So that's something you're going to want to watch with these. But yeah, I have the chocolate melting now. I'm going to go check on it, so I'm going to pause. I'll be right back, guys. All right, I'm back. I The chocolate was melted perfectly. Um, so what I do to dip is I use this two-prong toothpick. Um, I noticed that the single prong, um, I usually lose it when I'm dipping. So you're not going to want to shake it too much because you risk losing your peanut butter ball and your chocolate. And if you want to roll it around so that more of the peanut butter is covered, I would suggest you drop it in the chocolate and do that and then pick it up and retrieve it with the toothpick and see what happened there. <laughs> That's the fun of making these. You never know 
what you're going to get. If you're going to lose it, if you're going to break it. <laughs> so you got to kind of be quick. Oh no, this one broke too. So part of the reason why this could be happening too is because your batter isn't thick enough. And if that's the case, you're going to want to put more powdered sugar in it. Just kind of scooch this one up. There we go. But, um, yeah, so I make these every year for them. And they really like them. Another reason why they could be splitting too is because this chocolate isn't super hot because I just pulled it. Normally I dip them right into my double boiler so that the chocolate stays warm. But this is, this chocolate is cooling. See it split again. <laughs> oh boy. So it's making the peanut butter balls stay in the dish longer. But yeah, so this one is going to be a short one because I do want to make some nice ones for them. <laughs> so I'll have to go off camera so I can really focus on my craft here. Um, <laughs> and then you, you guys still have my December content that posted today at noon. And I think tomorrow's video, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I don't want to spoil it. I feel like I've been spoiling the videos for you by telling you what I'm going to do the next day. So let's see if I can just lift this one up. There we go. And then if you do use a toothpick and you're able to retrieve it without having this little fiasco here, <laughs> you're just going to um, take your fingers, your index and your thumb and pinch over the holes where the toothpick was to close those back up. And these are called Buckeyes because they um, represent or they look very much similar to the Ohio State tree, which is the Buckeye tree. And this is what the nut of that tree looks like. And also because um, when Ohio was being developed, the state of Ohio, a lot of traders and Indians, um, early settlers would trade deer and they say that these look like a buck or adult deer's eye. So there's a little folklore for you. All right, so I'm going to go make a couple more pretty ones because I only have like maybe two or three here <laughs> that I would be proud to present to my neighbors. So I'm going to go do that. And um, yeah, I'm going to be baking today a lot. Not only am I making Buckeyes today, I'm also making pumpkin raisin cookies for my father. They are his favorites. And then I think I'm going to do a cranberry white chocolate chip oatmeal cookie for us um, because that's one of my favorite cookies. So yeah. That's what I have for you today, guys. Sorry it wasn't more presentable, but, you know, I don't edit these. Uh, you're getting me raw here, so. <laughs> uh, there's some mistakes, and there's some some pretty ones. So, I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.